Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I wanna talk all about the three tools you can use to determine whether or not your queries are actually hitting those aggregations. Stay tuned. Okay, we've been talking about aggregations for a couple of weeks now, and they work, they're great. A lot of people are saying, it's bananas, right? But now what I wanna talk about is actually what tools you can use to make sure that everything, all that work you're doing about configuring your aggregations is actually working. You wanna see whether or not, you wanna determine or detect whether or not those queries that's being sent to your cash model is actually hitting those aggregations, right? Okay, so you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. All right, let's pretend, all right, you've taken the time, you've built your model, you've set up your aggregations, and you've created your report. The first thing I like to do before I publish my report out is I like to run Performance Analyzer. So I'll go to View, click Performance Analyzer, start recording, and refresh my visuals. And then that will give me everything I need to, uh, everything I want, all the information, all the metrics about my the queries that's being sent to my model. And so what I do is I look for the one that takes the longest. And so you can see right here, this one's taking about 22 seconds, right? I'm gonna expand out two just you, so you can get a sense of the different things that's happening. So the first thing you'll see is that a DAX query is happening. That's, that's perfect, I expect that. And then if you look on the one that's taking 22 seconds, there's a direct query that's happening. Why is a direct query happening? Well, that's a sure indication that you are not hitting the aggregation, right? If you see the direct query in Performance Analyzer, you're probably not hitting the aggregation. And so you need to do some work to detect that, okay? And so that's tool number one, Performance Analyzer. So what's the other tool? What do you think? DAX Studio, all right? So let me show you how to use DAX Studio. So now what I would do is I would clear this out I would go and open DAX Studio. Make sure you have the latest version of DAX Studio, okay? So I, I just download and install the latest, latest version to make sure I get all the tools and all the little bells and whistles that's built into it, all right? So go ahead and connect to that model. So I'm gonna connect to my model and then turn on all queries, click it. Turn on all queries, then I'm gonna go back over to my Power BI desktop and with Performance Analyzer running, I'm gonna click Refresh Visuals. And so this will take about 20 seconds because that one query I know is probably not hitting my aggregation. It is definitely not hitting my aggregation. All right, so once that finishes, I'll head over to DAX Studio and click on the All Queries tab and you'll see I have several queries coming through. If you hover over the ones with the little dark circle, you see it's a match, right? All those are a match. You look at it, match, it hit one aggregation, right? One aggregation hit. But there's one that has a little white circle and it says, hey, it missed. I wanna see what's going on with this query, right? This is a great little feature inside of DAX Studio. So you need to make sure you have the latest DAX Studio installed, all right? So go out and get the latest version. I'm actually running, if you go help and about, I'm running 2.10.2, right? So what I wanna do now is turn off all queries and turn on server timings and double click the row that has the white circle. Go ahead and double click it. It'll put that DAX, that DAX query in the uh, query window and now run it. I'm gonna go ahead and run this. When I run this, switch over to server timings. It's gonna take a little bit, gonna take about 20 seconds to run. After it finishes, you can see it says attempt fail and if I click on attempt fail, it'll give me more details. It'll say, hey, this attempt fail and fact online sales didn't map to anything. And then I can look at what it was trying to do, right? I can say, oh, it was trying to use them product. I kind of knew that, right? And so this, the one, this aggregate doesn't have anything um, in product, so it couldn't hit that one. This one does, I'm wondering why, why didn't it hit it? Well, let's head back over to Power BI Desktop. So I'm gonna head back over to Power BI Desktop. Let's look at my model. So I configured my aggregation, but I'm missing the relationship. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create the relationship between product key and product key between those two tables. Go ahead and click OK. Bam, my relationship is created. Make sure it's flowing in the right direction, right? Let's go ahead and clear this out. Let's go back to DAX Studio really quick. And let's turn back on our, let's turn off server timings, turn on all queries, go to the all queries window. Let's clear everything out, all right, perfect. 
And then let's go refresh our visuals again. Let's go ahead and refresh. Bam, much faster. Head back to DAC Studio. All my dots are solid. They're all black now. And if I run this again, this query right here, this is the one that was missing the cache. I need to turn on server timings again. Go ahead and run the query now. Go to server timings. Look at that match found. I look at the details and you go fact online sales. It was a match found. Here's the mapping. It used this aggregated table. And then here's the mappings of what it actually did, right? The subquery used this. These are the aggregations and the group buys that it used. It's just great. It's just great and it works, right? So that's tool number two. First tool, performance analyzer. Second tool, DAC Studio. Well, what's the third tool? Well, every time I talk about DAC Studio, I always get a question back, Patrick, we don't have DAC Studio. Our IT department has not approved DAC Studio yet. Well, I understand, but you know what you can use? You can use SQL Profiler. Let me show you how to start that up, right? That's tool number three. So what you need to do is go ahead and uh, let's start from the beginning. Yep. Let's go ahead and launch SQL Profiler. Just type Profiler here and Profiler will fire up and then click the new trace icon and make sure you choose analysis services from the server type. And then what you'll need to do here is type in local host and you'll need to get your port name. And there's a couple of ways. I did a video on how you can get your port name. DAC Studio will show it also right here in the bottom corner 59191 so you can see i'm already there or you can use powershell or command line go ahead and the important thing is you get that then you click connect then go to event selection scroll all the way down and look for query processing and choose aggregate table rewrite query click that choose run so we're going to do that then we'll head back over to power bi desktop clear this out and just choose refresh visuals. So it'll run these queries and then you'll see all of my queries will come through, right? And then you can get all the same details that we saw in DAC Studio. All right, that's it. That's your three tools, Perf Analyzer, DAC Studio, and SQL Profiler. This is bananas. It just works. It's so easy. Now you know what's happening. Are your queries hitting your aggregations? All right, so do you guys have any questions, comments? You know what to do. Let's continue the conversation. Where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy the Cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.